Hi Cancer, welcome to one of your bonus reads for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. This is general, it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. And please remember that time is fluid, so this might be something that happened in your past, currently in your present or coming up in your future. However, the focus is going to be for the week of October 14th through the 20th. And just to let you know, I'm doing this as an additional read because I was not able to finish all of the weekly readings last week. And um, I didn't want to cheat anyone. I just really appreciate everybody being so accommodating while I was dealing with family matters and the loss of some loved ones that we had. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. At the end of your reading, I'm going to pull an oracle message from the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. Also, to let you know, those of you interested, you can now book a personal reading with me. You can find more information in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The person on Cancer's mind, show me how Cancer feels about this person. So I see that there's been a lot of drama between the two of you. Um, it's been challenging. There's been a lot of exchange. Things happen so fast and it definitely is like a power play situation. So we have the five of wands, the eight of wands and the magician that come out. Okay. And, you know, with that, it just shows that it was a lot happening here it does feel like you're trying to work things out with one another so at the bottom of the deck is go oh well you know kind of not talking but wanting to work things out okay because at the bottom of the deck is the two of swords here so i feel like maybe you're taking your power back where this person pushed you to the point of like breaking your silence on things but a lot of things did happen here let's go ahead and look at how this person feels about you Yeah, whatever the situation was has you both at a crossroads. Um, so we have the sun, the fool, and the tower that comes out. And, you know, things just, they felt like everything was going good. They thought things were really in a good state. And whenever they took a chance here, it all just kind of blew up. And that made them feel that, you know, a lot had changed between the two of you and that you want to move on or they want to move on from the situation of where you two have the drama that exists, which is um, at the bottom of the deck is the six of uh, swords here. So, you know, they definitely want to try and get past, you know, whatever this is that happened between the two of you. So let's go ahead and get the connection between the two of you. We have the chariot, the nine of cups in reverse, and then the four of wands in reverse as the connection between the two of you. And I do see that, you know, there's that lack of support um, in this connection here by feeling like the other person does not feel the support of the other one. And it makes the other person feel unloved here. And, you know, with that chariot, it's, it's like somebody has to be right about things constantly, which causes you know, to jump into the, you know, I just don't feel that you really care enough about me. I feel very unsupported. It feels like a very unstable relationship whenever somebody's very one-sided and it always has to be right. So let's go ahead and start clarifying. We're going to start with that five of wands. So the drama arguments and fighting here, you know, that comes out with that five of wands, it's clarified by the three of pentacles, the five of cups, and the nine of wands here. This all had to deal with, you know, trying to create something together. 
and it felt very disappointing because there was a lot of pain and hurt whenever the fighting occurred and it just made things very very difficult to get along um, we also have the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck right here so you know um, someone even threw out there that they have other options or they can go elsewhere. Their time would be appreciated elsewhere. Let's go ahead and clarify that eight of wands. All right. So the eight of wands is clarified the two of wands the six of cups and the six of swords some of you have children together so it's hard to just move on you know out of this situation so trying to work things out for your kids but there's a lot of really fast movement with communication about you know we have a lot that we share together i just want you know we've been able to get through this situation in the past why can't we get through it now but there's that feeling isolated feeling alone that five of pentacles and maybe some of this has to do with money issues um it can also be the fact that somebody feels definitely left out in the cold and isolated from and alone from the other person um let's go ahead and clarify the magician I see, Cancer, that you decided I have to take my power back. This person has to know that I'm serious, that I'm not playing this power game with them anymore. We have the Sun, the Ace of Cups, and the Four of Cups. And it takes a lot to do this, but the way that you see it is I, I'm taking my power back, which makes me happy, and I feel a lot better working on myself and, you know, telling this person, no, I'm not going to accept this cup from you because it's a real turnoff every time that you want to fight. So you want this person to, you know, really appreciate you, miss you. Um, you still have this, I want to reconcile with them if they're going to change, if they're going to show that they're going to stop doing this thing of, of pushing me away or causing complications. So let's go ahead and clarify the sun. All right, so we have the two of swords as well as the fool and the page of pentacles. Um, you know, they felt that everything was good, happy, going well, growing between the two of you. They walked into this blindly. They didn't say a lot. They just took a chance here and decided that they wanted to see where things would go between the two of you. Um, optimistic, like, let's, let's explore this a little bit. Let's see what's happening. And, you know, it's like they both, you, they felt that you both wanted the relationship, and so they didn't see that there was any issue to begin with or that they were wrong whenever there's this argument and fighting occurred. So um, let's go ahead and clarify the fool. See, they feel, um, we have the five of swords, the nine of pentacles, and the nine of swords. You know, they feel that I was better off, you know, single because I don't know why this happened. But then they also revert back to the fact that they realize and recognize that they can act foolish sometimes and that they will say things always having to be right because they're just a very, what feels like dominant person, someone with a very strong personality. And it, it typically will lead them down to, you know, having themselves hurt by their own actions here. And so, you know, they do have worry and stress and anxiety about the fact that you know you could leave them and th the thing about it is is they do love you but they feel like they've really screwed up and how am I going to make this better with cancer and I you know I I let my anger and the, the wrong things and my anger and my my need to be right get the best of me at times so let's go ahead and we're going to clarify the tower
they really want to have a breakthrough with you with this tower, okay? And they realize that things had, you know, got uplifted because, and not in a good way. It's not like, oh, it's positive. Things really got thrown around in this relationship. Um, the Ace of Pentacles and Judgment card and the Devil is clarification to that Tower card. And so what they want is they want to be able to have a second chance. They want to break through starting from the beginning. If you give them the second chance, they will be committed. They will work hard. They will show you that, you know, they can change. They don't know exactly how they just know that they will at least start somewhere the moon is at the bottom of the deck right here i feel like they also have accused you of keeping secrets from them or you know things of that nature but they're also not going to focus on illusions creating things within their mind that may not be real um but they want to work hard and they get emotional about the fact that they could lose you cancer and so it bothers this person they want to try Let's go ahead and get the outcome between the two of you. Um, I really like the energies that come out here. We have the uh, justice card six of pentacles and the wheel of fortune okay so i what i see is that balance will be restored here and it's going to happen with equal give or take and recognizing that you're both important to one another you're putting your foot down and you're really letting this person know how you feel about the situation that happened so they want to work hard they want to create that balance here they want to make sure that things are seen in a good way and it does the wheel of fortune is showing that you know things will get better um the two of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck so they definitely want to start to restore that that balance you know they want justice for you and the situation they really want to try and not do the wrong thing which is which is good but i do see that all of this will start happening whenever they start being fair in this situation so they're going to really try and you're going to see a change in this person let's go ahead and get an oracle message for you what do you want cancer to know we have protection Okay, so the protection card, which is the wanting crescent moon here is showing that, you know, taking that time that you need, you are protected, but taking that time that you need to grow through this situation is really going to help the both of you, but also you being in your safe space right now where you're like, I, I can't deal with this. They need to know I'm upset and you're making them really recognize what needs to change within the relationship at the bottom of the deck is resilience and this is what they did not see in you you know this situation was difficult and it has been difficult with your person and it's because they are very stubborn but you've put your foot down and you're very resilient to everything that has happened you carry a lot of the weight but it just it's like you said here your turn to carry it now i'm gonna you know go and enjoy a bubble bath or something so um this is what i have for you cancer if it resonates for your situation go ahead and hit that like button um don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you're interested in a personal reading with me you can find more information in the description of this video other than that everyone have a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you in your next video